Hello, and welcome back. Like, comment, subscribe, Kofi, Redbubble, whatever. Let's talk about the weather! Today we're heading down to Ragwell Lake, where there's a unique mon to moderate, and also high-level fish to avoid, but the unique only appears during thunderstorms. So, let's chit-chat about this for a bit. We didn't see changes in the weather in Colony 9 or the innards of Tefra Cave, but once we exited onto Kneecap Hill, the weather became a factor to look out for, even manipulating what enemies appear or not. Weather lasts for a randomly set period of time, with a maximum duration of 12 in-game hours. 12 real-world minutes, apparently. According to the wiki, this I'm getting a lot of my information from the wiki. If it's wrong, the wiki is wrong. Oh, I understood it wrong. Anyways, uh, this duration appears to be tied to the game time, so that advancing the clock forward by several hours can shorten the duration of the current weather. Changing the game's clock by a small amount, or even setting it to the same time, also has a small chance of triggering a weather change. The typical weather you'll be seeing is termed as fair, skies that are mostly clear with scattered clouds. This is the only weather that Colony 9 is capable of getting. For all the other areas, fair has a very high probability of occurring, which means that when the weather rolls over again, it might just roll over to fair conditions, again, artificially extending the weather's duration. Rain is one type of inclement weather that we've already seen. Marked by moderate rain and reduced visibility, flying winged enemies do not appear during rainy, during rainy weather, while nebula type enemies do. This is loud. This is loud for me. Thunderstorm is another inclement weather, marked by heavy rainfall with lightning and thunder, and reduced visibility as well. As with rain, flying winged enemies do not appear during rainy weather, while nebula type enemies do. There are other types of inclement weather, but these aren't relevant now. I'll touch on those types when we reach the areas they are native to. Still real tired, people. Let's talk to Matriona again. I have some excellent news. The picture book for Palma should be finished soon. How exciting! It's still not perfect quite yet, but I'd like you to take a look. It's about a river spirit that grants a wish to a sad boy named Palma. This is the exact same thing that had happened with Winnie the Pooh. The dad put his own son, Christopher Robin, into the book as the as the boy, as the as the boy character. And forever that child was tormented by the fact that he was the character in Winnie the Pooh. So I don't think that's the greatest idea. Here's another not very good idea. A river spirit. Oh, river spirit? River spirit? Pama come to play! Ah! Ah! Pama drowning! Help! Pama! You think this might tempt Pama to go and play in the river? That does sound dangerous. I suppose you're right. I'll have to edit my plan. My, uh, I'll have to edit my picture to not give Pama any silly ideas. But to do that, I'll need a lake drop. Collect one lake drop from near Ragwell Lake on the Bios Lake. A glimpse of the future shows Pama drowning. If nothing is done to stop him, he'll surely die. Change the future and don't let Pama drown. Lake drops make a unique pigment perfect for painting over things. They're extremely rare. You might be lucky and find some at Ragwell Lake, though. Oh my. I feel so frail and weak. If I had some medicine... I could get better and look after Palma. What now? Is something the matter? Just be careful out there, okay? But that's not the only way of going about this quest. Well, 
saving Pama. You can also speak Hello. with Arda. Give Pama a picture book? What a delightful thought. He looks so sad recently, and it would certainly cheer him up. I wish I could be with him all the time, but I have this ailment. I need my medicinal herb tonic, or I'll just keep getting worse. If I had my medicine, I could be with Pama wherever he goes. A glimpse of the future shows Pama drowning. Looks like it's going to happen if he goes to the river alone. Don't let Pama go there on his own. So, spirits raised, and the other one. What was the other one? <laughs> and imagination's tempered. These are mutually exclusive quests. If you finish one, the other one is uncompletable. But you also met Matriona also mentioned a specific item called the Lake Drop. The Lake Drop as she mentioned, is extremely rare, to the point that there is only one in the game. So if you get it to use for this one, you won't be able to use it later, where it is used for another quest. Chain. Yes, cool. I forgot the word. I forgot my brain words. If you use it to complete Imagination's Tempered, that other series of quests in the future will be unavailable completely. So, it depends on where you want to go with this. If you want to complete those quests, you use the lake drop here. But if you want to do those other quests, you're going to need to use Arda. Go through Arma's route. There's a nope on here. Hi, Nikita. I had this really good toy, but friend broke it. I won't forgive him until he fixes it for me. And that opens up a quest with Satata. Right? You're Satata. Yeah, you're Satata. I'll come back to that. For now, we have Ernest. Again. What's up, Ernest Sire? Alright. Sorry about last time. Do you ever find any everlasting? Do you, do, you, do, you, uh, do you ever find any everlasting ether deposits? Could you go into more detail? I'd like to hear too. What? Taking your time, ain't you? I had to look at the records. Now I know where it really is. I can tell you if you want to know. What are you looking at me like that for? Everyone makes mistakes. This time, I really know. But we all know what happened last time. We just can't trust you. You're really not lying this time. I wasn't even lying before. I just got it wrong, didn't I? You can trust me. I'd like to say I can, but... Well, whatever. I ain't gonna force you. Do whatever you like. Another endless supply of crystals. Brilliant, you know, it makes sense. It's in the cave southeast of the bridge. The cave's at water level, so you might have to get a bit wet. No problem. Leave it to me. Cool. Let's go and do this really trustworthy thing. Turtle, 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 ants, 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 turtle. Collectible! Collectible! Wolves! 
turtle. What the? Oh. Ugly wolves. Oh, it was just kind of hard to parse what was happening there. But there are so many wolves here. I don't want to fight the wolves. Why do I need to kill the Legardoons? Yeah. So here's where we're going today. Ragwell Lake. Over there is Ragwell Bridge. That's where... Ah, that's where uh, Juju crashed his buggy. These rock spires, these little rocky mushroom things, you can travel across them. I think there's a bridge there that goes onto those and goes onto those and just goes across and you can get across that way. Except it's filled with level 70 plus monsters that are aggressive. Oh, hey, Envy Sardi. Remember how I mentioned fish at the beginning? Yeah, the Envy Sardi are here. Don't worry, as long as you don't go near them, you'll be fine. This island is where the unique monster, White Eduardo, appears. We have a challenge quest that... You swim so slowly. <laughs> we have a challenge quest to kill it. But it only appears during thunderstorms. And oh right, we need to kill uh, these guys for their eggs, or something. Oh, I'm bound. Ow. Uh -oh. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that Charlotte was getting her shit wrecked. These are level 17. No wonder she's getting her crap wrecked. Ooh, that was rough. Got one egg. Need one more. I suppose I'll get lucky at least. Nope. That was rough. And White Eduardo is at level 17, too. Let's bring the crew up to level 17. Oh, we've learned enough arts to fill out a pallet. Probably for Ryan. The battle pallet can only hold up to eight arts at once. If a character learns more than eight arts, you may wish to reorganize the ballot. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The ballot. Yes, great. Vote in your local elections to stymie the effect of the Christo Fascist Republican Party. No, nope, best skill trees. We got Heal Blast for Sharla and Metal Blast. Shoot a powerful bullet in a straight line, including break, inflicting break, and does a critical hit to flying enemies. Like Thunderbullet does. She really doesn't like flying enemies. <laughs> oh, Sword Drive. That's one big powerful attack. That has a long cooldown. Not sure if I want that right now. Actually, hmm. 
Yeah, whatever. If I want to spawn White Eduardo, I need to start spinning the time around. Those are flammy. Sorry, Juju. Oh, here he is! Immediately! I believe the Envy Sardi also disappear. This could be bad because of all the, all the birds. Don't look at me. White Eduardo has a resistance to break outside of what you call it. <laughs> ah, let's hit you with the Monado. You hit break. Topple! Backslash! Backslash! Oh no! Now he's looking at me. Luckily he's not, like, quick. Attack! This is the Monado's power! Monado! Power. My turn. Ryan needs healing. Stop looking at me. Get away from me. Ow. Close. There. Take that, White Eduardo. Around. No one's ever gonna keep you down. Frog leg meat. Frog leg meat. Birds, 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 birds. Having it be rain, <clears throat> Ugh, my voice. Having it be rain is useful for the other two quests that we grabbed. Because where we need to go is over here somewhere. God, you're so slow. Honestly, it might have been faster just to go up there and jump. Believe. 
But yeah, because there's no rain, because the rain is here, all the Envy Sardi are gone. Which is good, because there's an Envy Sardi directly in front of the cave entrance that we're going to. Ow! My shoulders. How's that? Because they all get replaced by these guys. The Aqua Nebulas. They have an 80% physical damage reduction. Which is why they're so very hard to kill. So I believe the... Envy Sardi would be in here-ish. What was that? Here's Ernest, nonsense. Hello, birds. It's just another ordinary ether deposit. Ah! Goodbye, birds. <laughs> What was the medicinal... I thought the medicinal herb was in there. What's this thing? Is this the lake drop? I should have checked before starting. Hold on. Okay, this is the lake drop. If you pick this up and don't use it for Imaginations Tempered, it will affect the other quest that you can use it for. If you use it there, it becomes unusable. No. If you use it for this... If, ah, <laughs> my brain isn't working. If you pick it up while it's spawned in for this quest, but don't use it, it will stay in your inventory. When you get, a, go, get around to the other quest that it could be used for, it will lock you out of the other... Op option that you would have for that quest. It will force you to use the lake drop. So if you want the more sour ending for that quest, you should avoid picking up there. Whoop, story menu. Hello, Hawks. Uh, there it is. And there's the medicinal herb. It was, it's all around the Tranquil Grotto, which is, you know, a nightmare. Nightmare Grotto. Here we go, medicinal herb. Where's the fish? Oh, I think they also only spawn in during the day. So that's another way to avoid the envy sortie. Let's, let's get a fight with a bunch of birds! Yeah! This was a bad idea, there's too many of these things! Oh, it's going after Charlotte. She is dead. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies and that's really bad. Oops, I'm warning her now. Whatever. I was trying to encourage her, but that didn't turn out well. I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> eh, it's not that bad. Oh, that was split edge. <laughs> Something. 
These can be a little annoying sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryan. <laughs> it's dead. I've saved you. Oh, cool. I have enough of whatever that was. What did we need? We'll leave... The what you call it there. The lake drop. And said so just chat with Arda. Oh, hello. Help her up. Is that a medicinal herb? Herb? You found one for me? Yes, but something bad will happen. Don't let him go anywhere near a river. Got it. I'll keep a close eye on him and make sure he stays close to camp. You really do care about Palma, don't you? Rest assured, he's safe with me. Don't worry yourself anymore. I heard Matriona and Ewan made... <laughs> Ewan? Ewan? Ewan. Made a picture book for Palma. How kind of those two. <laughs> Lovebirds? <laughs> Now, don't tell them I said that. I've known those two for years. They'd make a lovely couple. I know Matriona has been concerned for Palma as well. But I'm right as rain now, said while lying on my back in the Yamcha pose. <laughs> You can tell Matriona that I'm fit to look after the boy from now on. Sure. Uh, she's not awake at the moment. Ah, I was earnest. What? Still just normal crystals? And monsters appeared. Again? Huh. Looks like I got it wrong again. Everyone fails from time to time, ain't that right? So you figured out I'm having you on. The problem is, you're too trusting. Anyway, I had a laugh. You deserve a little something. Yay, Earth Cloak. What does that do? Goodbye, Ernest. I'll kill you one of these days. What does Earth Cloak do? I believe... That reduces the detection range of ground monsters by 20%. So, if you're getting attacked too often, at least by things on the ground, you can slap that on and they'll stop attacking you as wide. What? <laughs> It'll make it so that you have more freedom to wander around near monsters that are on the ground. Change time. Boop, 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 boop. Matriona. Me. Sha la 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 la. I just said what? Well, I can't argue with that, then. I'm glad it all turned out okay in the end. The picture book is finished. You can present it to Palma now. I know he'll be thrilled with it. It'd be great for the two of them to enjoy reading it together. What? Friends looking for Palma? This picture book for Pama? Matriona and Ewan made it? Thank you. Pama always treasured this book. Pama get Granny Pan Arda to read it to me. 
Everyone here is so kind. Arts Hill 2! Using Arts recovers 20 HP. It's alright. Matriona talking! It's not been easy putting this picture book together. I know you've gone to a lot of trouble to help us make it happen. I'm so glad we were able to finish it and give it to Pama. Me. Without you and Ewan, it would never have been completed. Thank you so much. I'll be talking to Ewan about writing some more stories. Yeah, Ewan. See that? I helped you. How's it going? Pama loved my story. He won't put it down. Seeing him enjoy page after page of my picture book moved me. How's it going? I truly believed my soul had sunk to the very depths of darkness. You writer, you. But I've returned, clear in my mission to continue to write. And to enjoy life, and see the joy my writing brings to people. I am so very grateful to you. Ah, nah. I don't know if you've changed anything. This has been going for 35 minutes. Let's talk to Satata. Hello? Oh, what to do? Satata is in a right pickle. Satata needs to come up with a giant plan to help Kiroki. Sounds like you've got a problem. Tell us what's the matter. We might be able to help. Lend Satata your ears, friends. Satata needs your counsel. My little pond's little pond broke a friend's toy. It was a gift from his parents, and he treasured it dearly. That's why Satata wants to fix toy on his behalf. But Satata lacks the materials to fix toy. What Satata really needs are some sticky web fibers. Those fibers make excellent glue when prepared, right? But someone the size of me has no chance of gathering them. Sticky fibers make good glue. That's a brilliant idea, Satata. Leave it with me and I'll make sure you get the fibers you need. It's my job to look after everybody, after all. So, friends will help me? Thank you, Sharla. Those arachnid monsters are no pushover. Watch your backs. Don't make me have to come and pull you out of some giant web. Collect three sticky web fiber from Arachno on the Bionis leg. Ooh, initial tension. Satata is eternally grateful. The fiber producing Arachno lives in live in caves right outside camp. Be safe and watch out. No problem. Leave it to me. This dialogue again. Always that one. Oh, hey. Yeah, Pama. You're happy. It was horrible for Pama every day. But a bit better now. Pama know now there are lots of kind people. There are many kind people all around Pama. Pama just never realized. Oh, hello. Pama has started smiling again. He's chattering his little head off like we were, like when we were in Colony Six. I couldn't be happier. Oh, hello. However long I have left, I'll use the time by looking after Pama. You don't need to worry about him. I'll see he keeps out of trouble. That's nice. Ernest will have one more quest, but I think we need to... Progress the story a little bit before it becomes available. 
going to the cave, going to the cave, going to the cave, going to the cave. Ants are back. Ants, ants, ants. Collectibles just wander over them. I do appreciate just being able to run over collectibles to collect them. Unlike with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where you have to interact with the collection points and then a whole bunch of them spit out all over the place. <clears throat> oh, my voice is going. Ah, yeah, story menu again. Kill the spider! can produce the sticky web fibers. Trade for them. Emmy Leader, back in Colony 9, at 2 star affinity. And Anna, on the Bionis leg, has that as an overtrade item. I should put Air Slash and Suck and Slit Edge next to each other. So I don't have to scroll over all that way every time. One last spider. Hopefully it counts. Get, gets me what I need. Ah, it was backslash. <laughs> it did not. Where is Anna? Wait, I still need to kill these bats. See the effects of having a higher level. It's much easier to kill things when you're a higher level than them. I don't want to do the chain attack, I can kill it just fine. Unfortunate. Maybe I should just trade for them. <laughs> and is this little girl right over here? She's not here.
Hi, Anna. A trade? No problem. <laughs> yeah, gun! <laughs> Why do you have a gun? <laughs> Dark Grape, and Turkin Crests. Do I need these? I wonder what the shift rifle is. Anna's overtrade value is 550. So... Yeah. Yeah, gun! <laughs> Welcome to America! We've armed our children! You're letting me have this? I feel bad taking it from you. Here, take this! Sticky web fiber, why do you have it? <laughs> See you! And Sutata. Friends got the sticky web fibers. Satata will get right on fixing that toy. You shall wait here for Satata. Excuse me. Satata means please wait here. Something that you can kind of notice with the Nopon in Xenoblade Chronicles is that they're. <laughs> that they speak better English than the Nopon in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah, they use their use names and some weird pronouns, but it's it's complete sentences, as opposed to the weird nonsense that Xenoblade Chronicles Two produces. Alan, they doubted Satata, but Satata showed them all. Now to get the toy to Kuroki, he should be the one that returns it, as he is the one who broke it. It's times like this when the little things matter the most. Nikita only has his toy to remember his mama pond by. Now, two little pawns friendship and a cherished ch keep t no, t Jesus. <laughs> oh, the sentence broke me. Now, two little pawns friendship and a cherished keepsake are saved. Please take the toy to him. Hi, Nikita. Bye. Hey, Kuroki, I fixed your crap. <laughs> Friends have septic for Kiroki? Wow! Grampy Ponsitata fix it? Nikita's Mama Pond got him this toy for his number five birthday. It's really important to him. Thank you so much for bringing it to Kuroki. Kuroki going to go and apologize to Nikita right away. Bye bye! You're back. <laughs> Thanks to Grampy Ponsatata, me and Nikita are friends again. Kuroki's so happy. Honestly, it seems more like the young Nopon that have the broken English. Right, Nikita? Kuroki brought my toy back to me just now. I didn't feel right without my favorite toy. But I'm just glad we made up and can be friends again. Good work, Satata. You did it. You gave it to Kuroki? Satata can't wait to see the smile on Kuroki's face. Satata is probably happier than Kuroki at this good news. I'm glad everything worked out. I'd expect no less from you. I just knew you could do it. It wasn't just me. Everybody helped. Friends, take this as a token of gratitude. It might come in useful on your travels. Initial tension! Yeah! Increases tension by 25 when battle starts. That's that hidden tension. Ah, you have another quest. We'll do that later. <laughs>